Ah, good morning, YouTube. You saw the title of the video. You know exactly what is going on today. We are putting a new radio into the Evo. Now let's just take a moment and appreciate how beautiful this morning sunrise is. All right, so you may know I already have a big radio in the Evo. It's a 11.2 inch touchscreen radio. I have one in my FRS as well, and they just released a new model for the Evo. It's an 8.0 model. And so I figured I'd pick it up throw in the Evo, make a little install guide for you, and when we're done installing it, give you a good solid review and see how much better it is than the older models. I've had the 5.1, I currently have the 6.0, they have a 7.1, which I never got, and now they have the 8.0, which is what I have sitting in the shop right now. Let's go take a look at it. Look at that. Let's throw this thing open. See what she's looking like. Welcome note, a warranty card, and now we have a radio. And a bunch of wiring, the canvas for the Rockford Fosgate sound system, and a whole bunch of other wiring as well. So here's the radio. There's a few reasons why I went with this radio here. Number one, it's an 8.0. The software on it, or the whole operating system is much better. I really like the fact that it has knobs. I've always told my girlfriend Bobby, like, I really wish my radio had knobs so I can turn it down and turn it up a lot faster. This one's got a CD player. The current one I have does not. And overall, it's supposed to be just a lot more solid of a unit. So I'm very excited to get this in. Very, very stoked. Let's go run up, grab the Evo, get it into the shop, and get our old radio removed. Now, like I mentioned, I do have the big touchscreen radio in there right now. But if you still have the factory radio, this is going to be the same exact process removing my radio and removing your stock radio. So don't worry, don't fret, it's all the same process. If you guys wanna pick up this exact radio I put in the car, there's a link down below. I'll have two options, okay? The first option is gonna be the exact radio I'm putting in with the knobs, it's the 8.0 model. The second option is going to be the 10.2 inch touchscreen 8.0 model, so it's still the newest update. It's the same operating system, but it's just a bigger screen and it doesn't have the knob. So when you go to adjust volume, it'll just you'll just be tapping on that, like an up button or an up arrow and a down arrow. You're not going to have an actual knob to adjust the volume. And then also with a 10.2 inch touchscreen, there is no CD player, but I'll have both options linked down for you below. Let me show you on Amazon the 10.2 inch screen, just so you're not confused when you go to order. So like I said, it's gonna be, this is gonna be the second link in the description box. It's the 8.0 radio. And when you come to order, you need, make sure you need to order the right one. So if you have an 08 to 13 with the Rockford Fosgate sound system, so the, if you have the factory subwoofer in the back, you're gonna click that. That is 08 to 17 without the Rockford system. As you can see, it's a bit cheaper if you don't have the Rockford system, but 08 to 17 is all the same without the system. And then if you have a 14, 15 with the Rockford system, just click on that one there. So it's very, very simple to do. All right, so this is the current radio I have in here. I love how it looks. It's very big. It's very nice for watching movies on it when I do, which is very rarely. But let's go ahead and get this thing removed. As I already mentioned earlier, removing this this radio here and removing the stock radio, the process will be the same. All you're gonna wanna do, open the glove box and then there's this little trim piece over here. Just pop that out of the way and it will reveal a little Phillips head screw. As soon as you get that screw out, this whole trim piece right here will come off. Okay, from here, we're gonna remove our radio. So if you have a stock radio right now, you'll be removing the faceplate not the whole unit like I am. So it just simply clips on out here, just pops on out. You don't need to remove the hazard button from the radio itself. You can leave that on there. Just unplug it from the backside of the radio. I have the whole unit removed. If you have a sock radio and remove just the faceplate, there'll be a few screws. One there, one there, one down there, and one there. As soon as you get those four screws out, your factory unit, the radio itself, will come on out of there. When you slide it out, there will be some wiring on the back side you're gonna have to unplug. It's all very simple. There's just little tabs on the back side of the wiring that you that you compress and then they disconnect from the radio itself. All right, let's go get some stuff swapped over from this radio to our new unit. The things we're gonna have to swap over are these vents here and this hazard switch, and that should be it. Hazard switch off, there's three screws. Pull those screws out, the hazard button will come right off. 
Now for the AC vents, there's just little tabs around the outside of the vents on this faceplate as well as your factory faceplate. Pull those tabs out a little bit. You can use your fingernails or a flathead screwdriver and these vents will come right off the faceplate. Very, very simple to do. Don't worry about breaking your tabs because you're not going to. It's, it's very easy to do. There are two pieces to each vent as you can see here. So make sure you're getting both pieces off of your faceplate. We are done with this. We have everything removed from this that we need to get removed. We can set this off to the side, grab our new unit. As you can see, those vents clip in very, very easily. It's not hard to do at all. All right, flip the radio over. And now we need to get this hazard switch onto this radio. So it's very easy to do. Just set it on there, these two tabs on each side, clip in, and now we have the three screws to screw in. And then you're done. Let's take a quick look at all the wiring and the canvas and all the harnesses they gave us. Here's what we have for wiring. This is the main harness with the canvas it's called for the Rockford system. This is 100% needed. That goes to, this end goes into the radio right up here. And then these two white wires, white plugins connect to the car. This here is a GPS antenna. This is a Bluetooth microphone if you want to talk on the radio. And then these three here are just random wiring say if you wanted to run for example a sub uh, external subwoofer i already have the factory fosgate one so i don't need any of that i'm not going to be using any of that this is exactly what it looks like it's a remote this is a usb plug-in and honestly i i can't figure out where this goes i ain't gonna lie i don't know where this usb plug-in connects to because there's no plug-in on the back side for that and here is another usb so this white plug-in here goes into one of these here. And then the other side, we have two USB plugins. This is USB or 3G USB. Not exactly sure what 3G USB means. And then mic. So that's for your microphone. Say if you want to talk on the phone. That plug-in there is where this connects to. Very simple. First thing I'm gonna do is get this into the car. I already have a GPS antenna, but if you wanna install your own GPS antenna, let me show you where I ran mine at. My GPS module thing sits up there and then it runs under this panel here, under the dash, and comes out right here to the back of the radio. So before you get the radio installed, if you wanna run your GPS, you're gonna definitely have to get that installed before you get the radio in. If you get your factory radio out, this is what it'll look like, minus these two wires here. Though That's for the antenna. Or not the antenna, the microphone and the GPS. This is what it's gonna look like. So let's grab our har new harness for the new radio and get this installed. We have two white plugins, which go to only two of these white plugins here, which are these two right here. This third one is not being used, so you can tuck that back behind. We don't need that. Let's get these two plugins connected over there. All right, that is what it should look like. So we have these two wires here, which we don't need, or I don't need, I'm not using those. Those are for auxiliary, like aux in, L, aux in right. And then that black, black plug-in goes into the back of the new radio. You should already have your GPS wire ran. Now, if you're gonna run a microphone, run that right now. I have mine sitting up there, which I'm actually gonna have to swap out because the plug-in size is actually different. So let me walk you through how to get that installed real quick. So you need to figure out exactly where you want the microphone itself to sit. I'm gonna put mine up here, right up on top of this pillar. So what I'm gonna do is pop this pillar out so I can run wiring behind it. And then we're gonna remove the seal. This panel here comes right out. Just pull it toward you, it'll come right off. And now we have access to run the microphone from here, the wiring all the way behind it, go under the dash down here, and then back up through there. I'll show you what it looks like when I'm all done. All right, so that's what it looks like. It's just hanging out there. It's not the cleanest thing, but I don't know where to put it. I really wish it was the same microphone as the old one where it just sat right up on the dash. That was super nice. Anyways, it run, the wire runs under there. Behind that back panel there, and then under the dash, comes out right up here. We are now ready to get the new radio into the car. We gotta throw a few more things on that radio, then we can get it in. I'm not gonna be needing this personally. I already have my GPS antenna installed. If you guys don't, go put that in. I'll throw that off to the side. These two wires, I'm not gonna use. This remote, I'll probably never use, honestly. I've never once used them before. This wire, I have no clue where it goes. So I might as well throw that off to the side. One thing I'm very impressed with with this new radio is they include two brackets. The old style that is sitting right there, all it did was clip into the dash. This 8.0 model, they have 
two brackets that screw into the side of the radio and then those screw to the dash. So we're gonna go get those on right now. They include all the hardware in here as well. Brackets are gonna sit on there just like so. And as you can see, you're gonna have to screw that to the, to the dash somehow. And that'll be going through that hole right there. So go get the brackets on both sides of the radio and then we can get this wiring plugged in. Actually, let's just do that right now. So this wiring goes right here. Let me show you a plug in. It'll only fit one. So it just clips in nice and tight like that. Now we have two USB 3Gs, whatever that is. I don't know if that's a regular USB or not, where you can play music through. But the reason I'm installing it is for this microphone jack right here. This radio is fully assembled, good to go. So the four things we had to put on this, number one, this harness here, two are the vents. Number three was the hazard switch or the hazard button. And number four, these side brackets on the radio to screw to the factory dash. This thing is ready to go into the car. And in the car, what we had to do before we get the radio installed, the main harness we installed, the microphone we installed. I already had the GPS antenna ran, so if you don't have one ran, go ahead and run that right now before you get the radio installed. And we should be good to go. Let's get this thing in. We have a few things to plug into the radio. That is for the hazard switch. This is the GPS that screws on. It screws onto the back side of the radio right there. The microphone will plug into this harness here with those USBs. And then we have the black plug-in from the main harness plug-in and then the antenna right here. So plug all those in and then we're gonna clip the radio right into the dash and then we can get it screwed on. Radio is in the car. Look at that. Let's turn on the ignition and see if it works. Oh, we don't need those wipers on. If it doesn't turn on right now, then we hooked something up wrong. Oh, there we go. Close the door, get rid of that beep. I'm really curious to see how this thing performs. Very excited. We still have not screwed in the screws yet, just to make sure that we don't need to pull it back out to do any, to fix anything that we did wrong. But we should be good. Android is starting. Let's jump on this radio. I do have a short, really, really short antenna on here. So the radio has never been as quite as good as I want it to be. But main thing I'm curious about, I'm gonna grab my phone and I'm gonna see how well this Bluetooth music works. The other one has never been as good as I want it to be. It doesn't come through quite as clear, but I'm really hoping they fix the issue with this one. I'll let you know in one second. It's the official test. If my Pandora ever loads. Got it connected to the radio. Come on, load. Go to, hmm, let's go to Wiz. Let's go to Wiz radio. Come on. Please be clear. Sounds pretty damn good. There's one more insane thing I wanna show you guys with this radio, and that is getting gauges onto this radio. So what you're gonna need is a little Bluetooth dongle thing they're called. I'll have this linked, I can totally space this out. I'll have this radio linked down below, as well as this little Bluetooth dongle. This is about $10. This plugs into your OBD2 port down here. And when it plugs in, you can see it lights up a little bit. Now we're gonna need to install an app on our radio. So how we do that, go home. We're gonna go to our app store. Where's the app store? Where's the app store? No, that's not it. I really like how it has all these buttons on here. That's so freaking nice. Play store, there we go. Okay, go on the play store. Oh, uno momento. We have to get internet on this thing. I'm just gonna connect to the Wi-Fi at the house, or you can go off of a hotspot on your phone. Either or. But how we go on internet, go home, go to your settings right here, and then Wi-Fi, Wi-Fi not connected. Let's, I'm gonna go connect to the home Wi-Fi real quick. Get it connected to internet, go on the app store, sign into your Google Play store. Um, I don't really care about any of this, sure. I just wanna get on the app store. I hate all the stuff it makes you go through every single time. The app we're looking for is called the Torque app. So type in Torque, T-O-R-O-R-Q, U E. So there's Torque and there's Torque Pro. I don't know which one to I'm not really sure which one is the free one. So Torque Pro is five dollars. Torque Lite OBD2 plus car is free. So I'm gonna go and install that right now. I'm pretty sure I don't know the difference. I know this one will have ads. Let's install this real quick and let me show you some cool stuff. We're literally gonna put our boost gauge 
onto our radio. This is literally the coolest thing with these radios. The Android radios, they're absolutely insane. There's a bunch of other apps down here you can get. Car scanner, if you, to if you want to read the codes. Clear and go, that's for clearing your codes. There's another torque app, a uh, bunch of, just a bunch of stuff. Piston, I wonder what piston is. As soon as this gets installed, let me show you guys some cool shit. Right, we have the app stalled. <laughs> stalled. We have the app installed. Let's click on torque light. We have to get everything connected. So let's go into our settings on the radio itself right here. And let's connect our Bluetooth. So go into the Bluetooth, click on that, connect it. Sorry if you guys couldn't see that for a second. So we got the OBB, OBD2 connected. Now we're gonna go over to the app, Torque Light. And if you wanna add more uh, gauges and whatnot on here, click this little dial down here or the gear, add display and click on anything you want. So let's go graph, you can do six, zero to 60 times, air temp, you can do so much stuff on here. Pretty much anything that are ECU reads you can put on here. As you can see, there's about 3,000 different 3,000 different things. Speed, uh, medium speed, that just went right over my AFR gauge, dope. Just added my boost gauge, this gauge right here, onto my dash. That is absolutely the coolest thing ever, holy shit. Oh my lord, that is freaking awesome. So basically what you do, you can either hold down here, add display, and then I went onto the display itself, went all the way down to the bottom, and clicked on turbo boost uh, and vacuum gauge. So I like that there, that's sick. Just a huge gauge right in the center. Let's go to the second screen. Hopefully you guys can hear me find my car is running with it, and it's freaking loud to my exhaust. Uh, I tried to add my fuel air, but since I took out my factory sensor and put in the sensor for this, I can't long. I can no. I can no longer do that. So if you guys don't have a aftermarket AFR gauge, you should be able to add your AFRs on there just fine. I don't really care because I'm on there, but it's it's still be super cool to add them on here. Let's try. So I can do new can do RPM. I don't care about RPM because it's huge right up there. Uh, fuel pressure now we can do like a speed there's my math do i care about my math not that much i'm just showing you guys everything you can put on here it's absolutely ridiculous it's not fun play around with this thing oops emissions don't care so you can do speed off of your obd2 uh let's change that over from kilometers Let's go over to miles per hour. So units, these miles. Guys, I live in America. So speed should be miles per hour now. That is awesome. Holy shit, guys, this is freaking nuts. Like the, the things you can do on this radio. So say my speed's there and I wanted to go over to my boost. There we go. Just flip it up, flip it up. On this one, let's go throw on, I don't know, what should we do? Let's do a dial of, uh, 69.8 that is insane how cool is this radio if you haven't already ordered one i don't know what you're waiting for seriously not even that expensive new coolant temperature rpm engine load so much stuff on here i don't even know half of it is if this is not the coolest thing i've ever done in my life then i don't know what is miles per gallon instant so yeah i'm definitely gonna keep that on there even though i only get like 12 miles a gallon in this dumb thing um i think i'm definitely gonna stick with my boost gauge right there how cool is that if that is not the most impressive thing I've ever seen in my life, I don't know what is. That is absolutely insane. All right, let's shut this thing off. I've had enough fun with it for now. We need to finish up this install. <laughs> so what we need to do is put two factory screws back in through these holes. Let's grab a light so you can see those brackets back there. I don't know if you guys can see that. Yeah, see that little hole way back there? We gotta screw that back to the dash. As soon as we get that on, we're gonna put on this trim piece here that runs across here, get that screw in over there, and we are done. So I'm gonna go do that real quick, and then let me talk to you some more about this insane radio. Right, the radio install is done. Let's go ahead, turn it on, see how long it takes to start up. Oh, I guess it's instant. Never mind. Uh, a few things. Oh, okay, number one, I figured out where that cable went, by the way. So you see this USB GPS SD thing right here? It's a little cover. So if you pop that off, you can put your GPS card in there, which was already in there. An SD card, say if you wanted to play a movie or something, you put on the SD card. Or you can just put the disc in here with this new radio. And then that wire that I was talking about, the USB, it plugs in right there. So that's dope. 
Um, nice that I figured that out. Okay. One more thing. You can have your TPMS sensors on here. Not really sure how. Kidding. I guess you need some sort of uh, external sensor stuff going on there. So I'm not going to... You can't use that unless you pay like $100 for it. So I'm not too worried about it because my TPMS light will pop up on the dash. It would be pretty cool. I ain't going to lie. What else do we have on here? We have YouTube. We can go on freaking YouTube and watch this video that you're watching right now if you wanted. How does it already... No. Oh, it's because I signed in earlier gonna say what else z box i have no clue what that is the coolest thing about this radio is 100 percent hands down our torque app we can have all of our it probably won't work right now because my car is not running yeah but that is how hands down the coolest thing of this radio i've ever seen that's my favorite mod overall i'm very impressed this radio 100 percent hands down is the favorite mod i've ever done on my evo yes i did have the older version in there before the Bluetooth sound wasn't where it should be. Um, everything else about the the older radio worked as it should. The GPS worked amazing. And honestly, I've never really messed around with that Torque app before. I did a little bit on the 5.1.1. That radio was complete trash though. That kind of ruined it for me. And then they came up to 6.0 and I picked it up immediately. It was much better. But going from the 6.0, skipping the 7.1, and then going to this 8.0, the difference is absolutely insane. The Bluetooth music comes through way clearer. The whole, how it has all those buttons on the bottom, the home, the mute button, the GPS button is super nice. Yeah, the screen's not as big, but in my opinion, I would sacrifice a smaller screen for all those improvements and upgrades any day of the week. I'm not sure how the 7.1.1 is, but this 8.0 is literally, it's insane. It's absolutely insane. It's so crazy. It's stupid fast. I would highly, highly recommend it. If you have not already ordered it, I don't, I honestly don't know what you're waiting for. You can put all your gauges on there. I think that alone will save you a bunch of money. Like just putting your gauges on the radio instead of having them actually on your car. It'll save you money for the boost gauge, the AFR. Um, you have temp gauges on there if you want. You can literally put any gauge on there and it's just, it's absolutely incredible. So I'll have the radio link down below. I'll have the OBD2 uh, dongle thing you put on your OBD2, OBD2 port linked down below as well. Um, what else? I don't really know. I feel like I already kind of covered everything in this video. Now, one thing that may be confusing right now is the gate, the app. I've installed the Torque app. You don't have to have an Evo to get that Torque app. You can have any car in the world with an Android head unit to get that Torque app. But of course, it's going to be Evo specific this video because I'm putting it on my Evo 10. But say you have an STI, you can get an Android app radio in there, throw it in there, get the Torque app, and put all your gauges on there as well. Say you have a, a Supra or a GTR, I think a GTR already come stock with something like that anyway but honestly guys this radio is absolutely wild like i really wish they came up with 8.0 a while ago because it's absolutely insane so go down below use those links pick up your radio throw your gauges on there and have a excellent life if you have any comments or questions leave them down in the comment section below i'll be sure to get back to you guys and if you have a question that i can't figure out i'm sure someone else in the comment section will be able to help you out so go down in the comment section below leave your comments or questions and i will get back to you i am going to end this video here really hope you enjoyed it it's absolutely insane this radio Literally said it like 40 times, but I cannot believe how nice this radio is. Go buy one. But I'm going to end it here. Really hope you enjoyed. If you did, hit that subscribe button right up in that top right-hand corner. Stay tuned for a lot more Insane Evo content coming soon. Got a whole turbo build coming soon. It's going to be absolutely wild. We'll really be using that boost gauge after that. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next video.